one play in the NFL that gets fans off their seats or breaks the internet is that of the stiff arm. And over the last couple seasons, Tennessee Titans running back Derrick Henry has been dishing out these vicious blows time and time again. But before Derrick Henry, the Titans had another bruising running back in Eddie George, who was an absolute monster coming out of the backfield. Standing 6'3 and 240 pounds, George put the fear of God into opposing linebackers with his hard running style. And after the turn of the millennium, one of the greatest one-on-one -on -one battles would see the running back go up against Ray Lewis. While the two played in the same division for a period of time, this rivalry began in 96 when the pair were in the same draft class but didn't really get going until 2000 during the regular season and when they first met in the playoffs. For context to understand the battle between the two, in the second regular season game in 2000, the Ravens came away with a narrow 24-23 home win. In this game, one of the key highlight moments occurred in the second quarter when Ray beeline straight for the running back and leveled him with a vicious hit that could be heard around the stadium. Anyways, here's a clip of Eddie George reliving the moment and the aftermath that followed. Yeah, there was an article that came out um, in Sporting News uh, about his career and what happened and so forth, and I was in that. He said, well, uh, Eddie, I changed Eddie George's career after I laid a hit on him. I'm thinking, okay, what hit is this? When did I ever go out of a game and when you hit me? On top of that, you also had Ravens DB Chris McAllister calling out Eddie after the game. So you can kind of understand how the running back felt upon reading what he read about the hit. And it wouldn't be only one hit or tackle that would define this one-on-one -on -one battle as over the years, these two were always in each other's face. Following the end of the 2000 regular season, the pair linked up again in the divisional round where they continued their on-field beef. And after every hit after hit, Lewis came out on top as he made a huge play picking off Steve McNair and running the ball in for six in what would be a close nip and tuck game up until that point. Although this was an intense matchup, after the final whistle, it would be 100% respect as the pair always got on off the field. So heading into the 2003 wildcard round matchup, the two teams were no longer division rivals after the NFL conference realignment that saw the disbandment of the AFC Central, with the Ravens going to the AFC North and the Titans to the AFC South. The 10-6 Ravens won the division crown with first round pick Kyle Bowler under center, but after picking up a thigh injury in week 10, backup Anthony Wright came in and started the remaining 7 games including the wildcard playoff game. Tennessee finished the 3 campaign going 12-4 with a 5th ranked scoring offense and a 13th ranked scoring defense. Quarterback Steve McNair won the league MVP as he threw for over 3,200 yards with 24 TD passes to 7 interceptions and a passer rating of 100.4. Going to the playoff game, there was a lot of speculation that this was going to be Eddie George's last game as a Titan as the team looked to be going in a different direction. George was a heavily utilized running back in his 8 seasons in Tennessee as he had compiled over 3,000 touches during that span. He also battled an ankle and toe injury that altered his style of running and on top of that, the team had also drafted a running back in Chris Brown in the third round of the 2003 NFL Draft. So this was going to be a huge statement game for Eddie, possibly playing in his last game in a Titans jersey and playing against an old rival that had won the last 5 meetings between the two teams. Guys before we continue, do me a favor and turn on all notifications. A lot of times you guys won't see my new uploads, so this is one way to ensure my new vids get out to you. Also, be sure to hit that like button as it really helps promote this video across the platform. So the stage was set at MNT Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland in front of a crowd of just under 70,000. Ray Lewis came out and did his usual pregame ritual to get the home fans revved up. And as the players began to walk to the sidelines, I think it's interesting to hear what the commentator said pregame. He said to us the other day, my job is to stop Eddie George. I don't know of anybody else in the National Football League that can make that statement. So the game kicked off with the Ravens receiving the ball first and after going 3-0, Tennessee got possession. On their first drive, McNair got the offense rolling after rolling to his right and finding Drew Bennett for 17 yards. The next play saw Eddie George collide with Ray Lewis after the linebacker came to assist a tackle. George continued running the ball and grabbed a huge gain of 13 yards for the first down, setting up Chris Brown for the touchdown. With Tennessee up 7, Baltimore's offensive woes continued as they proceeded to go 3-and-out again. 
However, they would catch a huge break after McNair from his own 36 had his pass tipped and intercepted by Will Debs, who ran it in for a pick six. And while this looked to be a huge momentum swing for the Ravens, it actually never really jump-started the offense as after they got the ball back towards the end of the quarter, they would succumb to their third straight 3 and out. The second quarter saw Tennessee with the ball, and after a few gains by Eddie George, the running back would soon find himself on the sidelines after dislocating his shoulder. On third and two and in Baltimore's red zone, McNair threw a pass intended for Aaron Kinney, but was undercut by none other than Ed Reed, who proceeded to run the ball for 23 yards before being tackled by George. And it's during this tackle where the running back injured his shoulder, and you could see him on the sidelines clearly frustrated at the situation. As mentioned earlier, it was highly likely this was Eddie's last run with Tennessee, and against the Baltimore Ravens, he obviously wanted to stay in the game. That being said, after both teams exchanged punts, Chris Brown would begin to play a bigger role in the offense, and on the Titans' next drive, the rookie picked up 16 yards down the middle. On first down, McNair began to struggle and took a huge hit from Ray Lewis as after reading all his options, decided to make a run for it. Tennessee ended up punting the ball to the Ravens, and at the 429 mark of the second quarter, Baltimore finally completed their first first down of the game as Anthony Wright connected with Travis Taylor for a huge gain of 30. After a couple more first downs, the Ravens ended up settling for a 43-yard field goal after a 15-yard personal foul from tackle Orlando Brown. And Baltimore ended up taking a 10-7 lead as both teams headed to the tunnel. Ray Lewis had a big first half as the linebacker already had 8 tackles to his name. And the Tennessee defense did a fantastic job stopping Baltimore's run game as they held Jamal Lewis to only 12 yards off of 7 carries. So as the second half started, Tennessee received good news as Eddie George was back in the game. However, their offense continued to stall and went 3 and out after McNair missed a couple passes intended for Derek Mason. Steve would get another chance later in the quarter after he connected with Tyron Calico for 12 yards, which was followed up by an 8-yard run from George. And then on second down from the Ravens 49, the former Alcorn State QB hit Justin McCurrence for 49 yards and a touchdown, giving the Titans a lead again. The next several drives saw both teams continue to exchange punts as the defenses began taking a stranglehold of the game. It wouldn't be until around the 11th minute mark of the fourth quarter where we'd see a change in the scoreboard when Ravens QB Anthony Wright committed his second pick of the game. At this point, the quarterback only completed a little over half of his attempts and threw for only 117 yards, and on 1st and 10 from his own 26, Wright was picked off for the second time by Samari Roll. This gave Tennessee great field position from the Ravens 30, and after a false start penalty, McNair handed the ball off to Eddie George, who proceeded to run down to the sidelines, and it's at this moment when both Lewis and George would meet in a collision that saw the running back get the better of the linebacker. Lewis made the error of attempting to go high on Eddie and would be met with one of the most nastiest stiff arms you'll ever see in a game. And after both players got up, they were just in each other's faces. Honestly, as a fan of the game, you just gotta love the sheer determination and desire from these two individuals. Putting friendship aside, these two were a rare breed of football players. Anyways, Tennessee settled for a field goal and took a 17-10 lead with just 10 minutes remaining. On Baltimore's next possession, Anthony Wright managed to move the chains after grabbing a couple first downs. And from Tennessee territory, Wright threw a 35-yard dive right into the hands of Todd Heap to level the score. And this got the home crowd up in roars as we now had a ball game. Tennessee had at least one last drive to see if they could come away with some points. And on second and inches, McNair committed his third interception of the game as he was picked off by Chris McAllister. With the blitz coming, Steve dropped back and went looking for Mason, however his pass was a little short and fell into the hands of the DB. So this game looked to be perfectly scripted for the Ravens. They were struggling all game on offense, and their defense came up big with their third interception. This got the home fans up on their feet with the stadium rocking, and it would have just been the perfect ending to cap this final drive, grabbing some points. However, a boneheaded unnecessary roughness call on Orlando Brown pushed the offense back 15 yards to 3rd and 18. The offense went 3 and out again for the 8th time in the game and had to punt the ball back to the Titans with less than 3 minutes left. From their own half, McNair orchestrated a drive with a couple short passes to George and a 13 yard completion to Derek Mason to put the offense in field goal range. And with 33 seconds left, Gary Anderson hit in what would be the game winning field goal to send Tennessee to the divisional round. 
Running back Eddie George finished the game recording 88 yards off of 25 carries, and while this was far from a stellar game, this was still against one of the best run defenses in the league. Ray Lewis had an outstanding game and really led Baltimore's defense with his 17 tackles as he was all over the field. And after the game, the two Warriors on the field greeted each other at center field for the very last time in their respective uniform. I think we got a wild card bid and we got Baltimore. And I said, all right, this is it. I said, this could be my last year in a Titan uniform playing in Baltimore against Ray Lewis.